has a band, and they were going to record episode six of Passable Series 2. And they were going to record them reading notes in their cave that they wrote in the past. So we're kind of like east of like the main group has most of we start with read a note and the other ones do not then they're like the little past group are gonna react to it. So let's go and see the episode because let's go and just record because I don't have anything else to explain. This is Hasmal Series 2! We used to be in the special ones and now we're not! One of the bullies that help us joins in our team! In our school there is new students that we make friends with! Rawr! Now some people who were bullies help us! Yeah! We still travel to stop the bad guy's evil plan to destroy kindness. Yeah! That is Hasmal Series 2! Ten minutes from the last episode. Okay, guys. Now we're in the cave. The cave of what? Notes! The cave of notes? The furniture looks like it got taken out by the bad guys. Ah, <sighs> that's too bad. I still remember that furniture. Okay, everyone, whoever was in the main original group, come and find a note. And someone will react to it, okay? Okay, got it? Got it. Okay, who's in the original group? Well, a lot were. Well, some of you guys need to make react to both the ones. So we are each find one, right? Yep. Yeah. What about by the twins? <laughs> twins, you'll find them all together. Because no one's able to tell the difference between special and new ones. Okay. So, you two. Sparkles and Glare. And Spiky, Stripey, and Spotty will go and find a note. Um, you guys will find a note um, together. And Sparkles and Glare, you find a note together. Okay. And the rest will not find notes together. we just find one no note ourselves. So let's go find some notes, but I'm just seeing here who's part of the main character crew, the original crew, who made this team. Yeah, I'm just going to see who's who's from it, who's here. Well, I know they're all here, but um, who is who was added to the group? Oh, there sure was a lot added over those years. Let's go and see here. Okay. Found one! Oh, I found one too. <laughs> hey, we free found one. Hey, it's the one Rainbow Dog Road. Awesome. Remember we use this? Oh yeah, I do. Hey, I found one. Oh, this one looks different. I think there's no from every one of us. Yeah, there is. Oh, each one. Oh. Oh, I found it right here. Whoa, notes are everywhere. Right here, I found one. Oh yeah, I found one here. This one seems great. Found one right here. This one seems good. Found one right here. Oh, I found one right here. Found one right here. Oh, there's one all the way back here, almost the end of this cave. And there's one right here. 
then there's one right here. Okay. Well, those are all the notes. I don't see any more. Yep, those are all the notes. You wrote? Now I'll go right back. I'll react to Surfer's Horse. I'll react to Autism's Raccoon. I'll react to uh, Great Hedgehogs. I'll react to Rainbow Dog. I'll react to the Free Dog Twins, Spiky, Stripey, and Spotty. I'll react to Pink Hedgehog. And I'll react to Smart Pink Bunny. I'll react to Mooey. And we too, I'll react to Sparkles. And I'll react to Odds and the Rat Kid. Okay, you guys read their notes first. Actually, no, there's a few more. Okay, I'll react to Golden Bunny. Oh, I heard him singing. I'll react to you, and I'll react to you. Actually, can I react to him and you react to him? Got it. Is everyone have a partner? Yep. Wow, that's awesome. I have a partner. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go. Okay, I'll read mine first. The kids were always bullying us, but why? I never understand why. They always were bullying us all the time. It's because we're so different. But isn't unique being the special one, being special in your own way? Isn't everyone unique? Anyways, we got bullied because we're super unique. I never really understand why, but it's certainly not the nicest thing to know. Who wrote that? From... Oh, Skater Bunny to get any. Oh. I'll go for it. Join you next. Okay. From Gator Bunny. Oh, yeah. I wrote that one. I think this was from you. Okay. Well, and all, all my surfboards, great. I have great friends. My friends are all kind to me and nice to me. They've been helping me not be sad when I get bullied. All of these friends been cheering me on. I'm the leader who started this group, and I continue will be. Maybe one day we will not get bullied one day. Maybe that will happen one day. But I don't know for sure. From Silver Horse. Wow! That's awesome! I like that one. Okay. That was from you, Silver Horse. Did you hear it? Oh, yeah, I did. We can all hear it. It's super echoey! <laughs> yeah, but I don't hear it all that echoey. Because, because of the one, one you yell super, super loud! loud. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read yours? Yeah, sir. Well, here's mine. Oh, it's actually from me. Well, I have autism, but that doesn't matter. Autism is just like a distance making your brain work a little differently. It doesn't really matter that too much to me. Even though I get bullied for it, it doesn't really make me too different. I can still help my team in the future if we get into problems. I know I will help my team and I know I'll be a good friend, but I just have to get through these hard times first. Great! You, I like that one! Thank you! What's this one? I'll read it. E oh, this one's for me. Even though I keep playing these imaginary games, my friends keep joining me. Even though I got bullied them before playing the pink hedgehog, it's so much fun when playing fun playing with all these actors. I know it's almost so much fun playing these imaginary games. But one day I might not be into them anymore. I just can just let my imaginary run all day. But the free the break time doesn't last forever. These imaginary games are so much fun that we play them all the time. Even though even though our people might bully them for us. Even though I play these imaginary games now, I might not as much in the future. But I'll be fine. I'll be have fun with my friends still. From Green Hedgehog. Whoa, that was cool. I like that one. Thanks. What was this one? Oh, this one from Smart 
Well, this one's from, oh, Surfworth. Actually, this one, this one's from, uh, um, this one's from Snow. Snow doesn't have any. I'll go react to his next. Okay. Well, smart pink bunny's always the smartest in our classes. She always raised her hand and, and answered the questions. And she always knows the best coding. She's even smarter than the bullies. She's not smarter than the teachers, and she probably really never built B until she gets out of school. She's not as smart, maybe, as the smart people in the whole entire world. But she is pretty smart. She's the smartest one on our team. She's super smart for the kindergartner. And she is super smart for a uh, second grade now. Yeah. And that's what makes her unique. I like her smartness. It helps her team a lot. Smart being really smart. And I like that. That's nice. I'll go back to Snow. Hey, Snow, what's yours? No, mine? Here's mine. It's from me. Hey, thank you for getting me, even though you got me last. I like really like being on your friend group here. I really like being your friend group because it's really fun being in there. It's all though it's all those counts and numbers and smart pink bunny souls are really helps me. Your friends really help me to not get bullied as much and I don't cry as often. Well it's a great time this time and all my friends help me. But yeah I promise you guys will be hating me forever. And I always will be with you if I can. From Snow. That's awesome, Snow. I liked it. Thank you. Okay. Here's mine. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, this is from Golden Bunny. Let's see what he wrote. Well, even though I became best friend of all everyone, I became friends with everyone. Even though I became best friend with everyone, I still get bullied sometimes. The bully never stops, but it uh, will someday probably. I get bullied for, like, many other, many things that I do. I don't like it, though. But my friends help me up. And Smart Pinky, Smart, smart Pink Bunny is very smart. And she's very good at coding. Sometimes I try to do coding myself, but Smart Pink will always, Smart Pink Bunny will always help me. Surfer is a great leader of the team, and she's really kind. Some leaders can be really strict and mean, but she's not strict at all. She's kind and friendly. If you've never seen her before, you wouldn't, as you probably expect to be strict, super strict and not that nice. But trust me, she's nice. That was nice. I like that one from Golden Bunny. That was cute. Well, what's this one? Oh, this one's for me. Even though Pink had tried playing these imaginary games, I still love playing them. All these friends I made really made me realize how many people got bullied in those bullies and how many people were the special ones. I know those bullies will turn back good someday because all of them turn back from me, me. Probably. Because I, because before that one student came, everyone's nice to us. So it must be that. But I still have fun with my friends. And I continue will, and I probably will be forever. That was so nice. Anyone else could read them? Oh, yeah. This one's from your brother's rainbow dog. Okay. So well, thank you for writing that note for us. That really made us happy. That note really made us happy and really good when you, when you read it to us. Oh, yeah. I read a note for them. Mm-hmm. Well, it really made us happy. It really made us glad. We're glad that you, you're a friend and a brother here. And all your other friends are great. All your other friends are great and treat you nicely. From Spiky, Spotty, and Stripey. They run one together. That's awesome. Here's one from Rainbow Dog. Great friend this one. Yeah, we did. But let's read again. Thank you, brother, for being so kind to me and protecting me when I get bullied. It makes me cry less often. It doesn't make it doesn't make me get hurt less often from the bullies. Well, it's nice for protecting me, and I, you guys are the best brothers. Oh, 
I wrote two notes. You guys wrote the other one that I rewrote it after we got some more friends. Thank you! Don't do this again! <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my partner now. <laughs> that was fun though. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Yeah, I want to continue reading so we can go back for the cave. Actually, I don't know what's gonna happen next. Me either. Well, do you want me to read or you? Me. I actually wrote this one. Hey, even well, my friends thought I was cute. I really, really, really was happy about that. Because all of my all the boys bully me for me looking this way and looking different old cows. When all the other friends, all my friends, said I looked cute, I was really happy and really thankful for that. Said they look cute, I continue to treat People continue to call, well, people don't call me cute, so they still bully me. But all my friends continue to call me cute, and I look cute. They said that I actually look cute. They should not bully me for it. And I'm really happy with that. So I say I look cute and not ugly. Oh, that's super nice. I like that one. <laughs> Thank you, Orange. You're welcome. Well, read your donkey. Oh, here's mine. Even though I look different from all the cow and donkeys, it's kind of like Millie. Even though I, some people might seem like silly, they think I look fine. They don't even judge me for it. They would never judge me for it because they're my friends. And me and Millie have become best friends. All the others have become very close friends and best friends too. But I am really close to Millie and all the other people as well. Well, it's really fun having those friends and not being bullied as much. Sometimes we go we go in our cave every single day. That's our safe point. We don't get bullied. I know we're going to be friends for a very long time, and I hope we do. From Donkey. That's really sweet. I like that one. Yeah, I know. Oh, this one's from Max. Let's go read it. Oh, to see yours. Hey, sparkles and glitter. Even though I write this, I talk to myself a lot. So that's, so that's probably one count for that. And we play imaginary games like Green Hedgehog. I know talking to itself might seem a little weird, but it's not the biggest problem. Even though they bully us for that, they don't even, we don't call it weird. And they try always to act as like, what are you talking about? Who are you talking to? Or something like that. Because they think we're talking to somebody, but we're really talking to self. And then we just kind of make a joke and laugh on about it. And it's kind of like in a laugh, and kind of in a friend way, not really in a bullying way. <laughs> it's really fun being friends with these guys, and I continue hope we do. Hope you guys have fun, Sparkles and Glitter, from Sparkles and Glitter. <laughs> <laughs> that one was cute. It was. Okay. Oh, read yours now, Wave. It's mine. <laughs> well. People always judge me for being in the sea. Being in the sea all the time was awesome. Awesome. I didn't come from the sea. Well, well, I didn't I never been to the sea. But that was boring me. I had a scuba thing on. Well, I just got. Well, I actually went scuba diving once, and that's why I had this thing on. I never could took it off after I went scuba diving. But they always bore me. And I thought I was meant for the sea more than I'm on land. But my friends never. And that my friends like the name Wave. My friends like me as an ocean friend, and they think, and they hope I come, come, helpful in those in some ocean adventures if they have any. That's nice. Does anyone else want to read? Well, they're all gonna read. I think only one more is left. Look around, around, around. Yep, only one more is left. You come on, we're waiting for you. Okay. It's mine! Ha <laughs> I have a rough one! Let's go! Okay, here's mine. Well, even though I have autism like Autism Raccoon, me and Autism Raccoon have really became best friends. And we always will, and we always have been. Even though together we're best friends, we all became best friends and very close friends. 
I have autism, and they never judge me with that. Sometimes I close my ears like autism raccoon does. They never judge me with that either. They try to turn down loud, loud sounds and try not to make it too echoey and sound and loud sounding for me. I really, I'm really thankful for that. And I really like them as friends. I really like them as friends. If I didn't have them, I wouldn't be the same I am today. From Autism Penguin. That's nice. Yeah. I just realized how hard it was in those times. I know. Let's get back into the group. Yep. My bows all together. I realized I didn't remind. Let me remind now. Well, I have all my friends here, even though I'm the leader. I'm a very kind one. I'm glad for all the friends I have and all the friends I made. If we didn't have all my friends here, we would never, me and Scary Bunny would never have friends. And it makes us cry, not not as often. And Scary Bunny, Super Horse and Scary Bunny, me, are very thankful for my friends. If I didn't have you guys, I don't think I'll ever have friends than Skater Bunny. That's really sweet of you, Super Horse. I really like that. Yeah, we all really like that. That's so sweet of you. All the notes are so sweet and kind. Yeah, they are. Hmm. I like this time. This can be back memories. Remember those times where it was so hard? Remember those times? Now I sure do. Those times are so hard to get through. And I just remember how smart Pink Bunny, how smart she was, she is today, and how smart she was. She's less smart than then, but she's still, she's still super smart. We learn new things every day, right? Oh, I sure do. Well, also you become a very good. Also, you became a very. Also, you become a better adventurer than those times. Oh, I definitely have. Well, we are in second grade now, and we our smartness has definitely improved. But we still have some destroying kindness plan to um stop. Since we're still in this cave, does anyone else want to do the mink? A mink? Yeah, I decided I have to tell you something. I also was thinking of telling my surfer story. Okay, let's go and do that. Well, we can do that in like some 10 minutes. I need to get some water. Well, not get some water, but I we need to we need to have a little break. We're getting tired. Oh yeah, let's go and have some sleep time. Yeah. Cut. So that was the end of episode tw not 26. Six of, of series two of Half the Moles. So, it was a little longer than I expected. But, I guess reading notes take a long time. So, we were reading notes from the team. And it seemed like most of them were nice and kind. And everyone wrote them. Except I forgot person. But most part, most importantly, like, everyone wrote them. Everyone wrote them. And we wrote a note, though most people wrote a note in their team to say how they're going a little bit about themselves. And they're pretty sweet. And gave the memories back in those hard times. And the end off is Monkey has to tell us something. And Super Horse speaking to tell us how she got her surfboard. So that's how we end it. So let's go and why we stopped the episode here? Because honestly, it's gonna take way too long. If something I could tell something, and also they need to take a break. I didn't leave out as much. Uh, I, I'm not really at a cliffhanger this time. It was a nice, calm episode. It was pretty calm. In the last episode, it was the last episode was not really that calm. It was more tense. And it was a really good episode. This one's kind of calm. You don't, you can, you can play with it during this one. It's really just three notes and react to them. And it, it's not boring because it's pretty fun. It's not a, not a super boring to watch. Well, make sure to give me a like. Make sure to give me a like. 
Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell. Bye, the fans. Hope you guys enjoy the notes that the per that the Hasselow team wrote in this episode. Bye, Trashy Rubber fans.